Hey guys, how are you doing today? It's Marla. This is just a quickie kind of review on three samples that I've had in my makeup drawer for a while. I just kind of never got around to doing any reviews or my perceptions on them. So this is going to be a super, super fast drive-by review on three samples. So let's get started. Sample number one is from Stila. It's the Stila CC Color Correcting Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 20. And I think a lot of people might have gotten this. It was one of the promotions done by Sephora. It's oil-free. It's supposed to be a buildable matte to satin finish. And I believe it's $44 right around there. It's a color correcting product. So you're basically supposed to put it on your face and it's supposed to work on those imperfections like hyperpigmentations or dark spots or things like that. And it's also supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles and just kind of even out your skin tone and just make you look good. And it is paraben free. When you open this up, I actually got a couple of these samples. I honestly don't like it. Every time I try it, I really don't like it, but I'm going to use it on this side of my face. I don't know if you can see right here, but I laid on something recently that made me break out in a rash. And so these are a lot of good imperfections to show you on top of the fact that I have hyperpigmentation and freckling on this side of my face. When you first take this out, it is a green grayish shade. So it looks like this. But when you put it on your face, it adjusts to your skin tone. So I'm going to put right here and rub it in. And I don't know if you can see it's starting to change already on my skin tone. I'm going to put it around my nose where I have a lot of redness there. And after one coat, you can still see really pretty much all those little, that little bumpy rash area. You can still see the redness around my nose and my face looks a little shiny, a little shiny action going on there. And I don't like that. So we're gonna try a second coat because it said it's buildable. So we'll put, maybe if I put a second coat on, we can get rid of some of that redness around my nose and some of that rashiness on my face. All right, coat number two. It did kind of cover up a little bit of that rashy area. And on my nose, maybe it did a little bit with helping the redness there. But I'll be honest with you, the shine action, I don't like that. That's really bugging me. I feel like I have Vaseline on my face and I will not go outside looking like I have Vaseline on my face. Super shiny, it's supposed to be oil free, but I don't like that look and I'm not one the kind of person that likes to put a bunch of powder all over my face because then I feel I start looking cakey. So for me, the Stila CC Correcting Cream, I, I just personally don't like it and it's, it's a thumbs down for me in my perceptions. On to the next sample. Sample number two, Bosha BB Cream Bronze Broad Spectrum SPF 27. This is oil SPF 27. This is oil free, another sample I got. And let me read to you what it says it's going to do. It's, this is a one step wonder. I just wanna let you know that in advance. This one step wonder creates a lustrous, flawless finish as it hydrates, firms, and soothes the skin. BB Cream Bronze delivers a sun-kissed complexion with just a hint of shimmer. I don't like that word shimmer. All over my face, shimmer, not a fan of that. Helps diminish the appearance of pores, fine lines, and uneven skin tone while providing long wear natural coverage that conceals imperfections. So let's go back to the side where we have some massive amounts of major amounts of imperfections going on on this cheek. I'm going to take this out. When this comes out, it is super dark. I will warn you in advance. This is what it looks like on my finger. This is what it looks like when it's rubbed into my hand. I am gonna take a little bit of this and put this on my cheek and rub it in. And over there. Oh boy, that's orange. I don't like that. A little Oompa Loompa action going on there. 
no, 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 no. Okay, this is what it looks like on my face. Mm -hmm. Again, shiny, a little shiny for me, but I think this does dry in. This one is not as kind of greasy and tacky as that Stila, but the color, mm, not a fan of that. No, no, I feel a little orange. I just don't like this shade. And I already have, I, I really do have a an olive complexion, so I don't even, I couldn't even imagine this on someone that's fair. I don't know. But for me, it's a thumbs down. On to the next one. And finally, sample number three is from a company that I've actually never tried a product from before. It's the Miracle Skin Transformer Vanish Super C. And it works on, it's an instant imperfection corrector. <sighs> With all these imperfection correctors that I'm using, I should look 25, but I don't. Um, and it works on wrinkles, dark spots, and the evenness of your skin. I guess it just evens out your skin tone. So this is what the container looks like. This is a small version. I believe the large size of this is kind of expensive. It's $58. And it, again, works on your lines, your wrinkles, the sun damage, dark spots, dullness on your face, it's supposed to even out your skin tone. And you can also use this as a spot treatment. When you first take this out of the container, it's white and it looks just like all the silicone primers that I hate. I am not a big fan of the feeling kind of of that silicone. It's not really a slimy feeling, it's an odd feeling. And that is what this feels like, but I'm gonna put that this all over the area of my face where I have imperfections. It does mattify my face instantly. So I think you can see that, and it does kind of work on my pores. I'm gonna put it on these lines around my mouth and see if it helps at all with those. Let's see if I look 25 years younger. There we go. A little bit more, because I really need spackle in there big time to fix those little lines. So I put those on and I put this on the side of the face. So I think you may be able to tell, this is the side without it, a little bit shiny, and there's kind of really, it doesn't look matte at all. I applied it to this side, it really did kind of matte everything out. It made, I think even my pores around my nose look a little smaller, although I still have this horrendous rash going on that it, if it says it works on spot treatment, it really doesn't because that stuff is super obvious. And I have, um, you know, it might have helped a little bit with these lines, but the problem is the feeling of that kind of Vaseline silicone feel on my face. I just wouldn't be able to wear this because I just couldn't tolerate that kind of slimy, Vaseline-y feel of, of the silicone on my face. So for me, I did not personally care for this because I know I won't wear this. I won't wear this with that feeling. Now, people who really don't mind that silicone feel and want kind of a matte look, this actually isn't a bad... I guess you could almost use it as a primer, really. This really isn't a bad product. However, it is super expensive. It's almost 60 bucks for the full size, and the full size isn't, you know, giant size. So I, I'm kind of going to have to give it a thumbs down for me because I don't like the feel of it on my face, and the price is just, I think, kind of crazy outrageous. That is it for my Simply Sample Day. Hope you have a good week. Bye-bye from Marla.